preservative is a substance that is added to the product such as food, beverage, pharmaceutical drug, cosmetic and so on. Preservative implemented in two modes, physical and chemical. Chemical preservation is likely adding chemical compound to the product, while physical preservation in the processes such as refrigeration or drying. Preservatives are mostly used in food. It is used to preserve food from spoilage faster and maintain the fresh attribute and nutritional quality. The function of preservatives The process of treating and handling food to prevent or slow down its spoilage caused by microorganisms is called food preservation and the substances used in this process are called preservatives. Sometimes microorganisms such as benign bacteria, yeast or fungi is added to a food to enhance its quality or to preserve it. For example, a lactic acid bacterium is used to preserve cheese and yeast are used in production of alcohol. Food preservation is basically done for four reasons. First, to preserve the natural characteristics of foods. Second, to preserve the appearance of food. Third, to increase the shelf value of food for storage which, which is to ensure the processed food remains in a good condition throughout its journey from the factory to the shop and to the consumer at home. Finally, to reduce waste and as a result also reduces the need for land, water and energy. Classification of fruit preservatives is divided into two classes, class 1 preservative and class 2 preservatives. The class 1 preservative is class 1 preservative is natural so there is no need to be conscious while using it. This preservative is also generally found in the common kitchen. Example of class 1 preservatives are salt, sugar, honey, vinegar, spices and wood smoke. Meanwhile, class 2 preservative is main mat or in other words synthetic. There are some risks involved as there are chemicals. In the usage of this preservative, certain limits and more restrictions are implemented. Examples for this class preservative are sorbates, sulfites, benzoates, nitrite and nitrate and glutamate. There are three types of preservatives, antimicrobial, antioxidant and anti-enzymatic. Antimicrobial preservatives destroy or delay the growth of bacteria, yeast and mold. This method is the most traditional and ancient type of preserving such as pickling or adding honey to prevent the microorganism growth by modifying the pH level. Examples of the usage are nitrates and nitrates are to prevent the, the botulism in meat. Antioxidant. Its function is to slow or stop the breakdown of fats or and oils that happens due to presence of oxygen and that will lead to rancidity. The most common antioxidant is ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Example BHT, BHA, and TBHQ. The last, the last one is anti-enzymatic. It is used to block the enzymatic processes, such as ripening in food even after the harvest. It stops the function of enzyme phenolase that leads to brown color on the exposed surface of cut fruits. 
Example of anti-enzymatic preservative are erythorbic acid and citric acid. The natural preservatives are also included such as rosemary extracts, castor oil, sugar, salt, Numbers are simply the code numbers used to identify food additives that have been shown to be safe and officially approved for use in food across the European Union (EU). It is extremely wise to avoid eating foods and drinks with harmful food additives, which is from the E numbers in them. Not all E numbers are bad for you. This is the pictures of E number group of preservative from E200 until E300. So let's take a look. Food Additive Advantages Some additives improve or maintain the food's nutritive value such as vitamins A, C, D, and E. In addition to providing nutrients, food additives can help reduce spoilage, improve the appearance of foods, and increase the availability of a variety of foods throughout the year. Food Additive Disadvantages some food additives can potentially cause harmful side effects, for example, sulfites, which are added to baked goods, wine, condiments, and snack foods, could cause heaves, nausea, diarrhea, and shortness of breath in some people. For the conclusion, even a preservative can make food or any product last longer, if it is taken continuously and in a large quantities, it will have an adverse impact on human health. We should know that we have to take the preservative in an appropriate amount so that human health will stay in a good state.